why is it so hard for people to listen to women? Why don't y'all want to listen to us? Why don't you believe us when we speak and say, I'm tired of struggling with this man? No, I don't want to struggle with him anymore. Why is it so hard for people in the world to listen to women? Why is it so hard? Married at First Sight Season 16, Episode 9. I want to thank you for your love and support. Thank you for those of you who have newly joined us, our new remnants. Thank you for thumbs up and those comments. I'll be in the comments hopefully this weekend. And I have a comment in my community to have that I will be doing a video on. On this week, we see Dominique uh, saying that, you know what, I want a divorce. And everybody is, you know, oh, she's so immature. She's 25. She she gets to be immature because she is 35. At the same time, you have this grown, crusty, 34-year-old man who is saying to this 25-year-old that she is young, she don't know what she wants, and so on and so forth. And, and this crusty 34-year-old man is telling this 25-year-old young, young woman who's who by signs by signs says that her brain is not fully developed until 25. So actually, until she hits her 26th birthday, her brain is still developing. But you have this 34-year-old crusty, struggling pookie talking about, oh, she don't know what she wants. Oh, she knows what she wants. She knows she don't want to struggle with you. So I have these video clips of Dominique telling us, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm tired of struggling with you. And what is everybody doing on the internet? Dragging her because she, at 25 years old, has made up in her mind that I don't want to struggle no more. Glory be to God. I don't want to struggle no more. And what is everybody saying? Give it time. Oh my God, you got you got to stick it through. You got to try to work it through. Girl, go ahead and struggle with him. And I feel like this is why a lot of people are not enjoying their marriage. See, I get excited, okay? People are not enjoying their marriages because a lot of women in their marriage are struggling. What I mean struggling, and I feel like the only time you should try to override my right of struggling is when I'm having a baby. And a lot of people, Felix looking cute. A lot of couples are struggling. A lot of married couples are, 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 are struggling in their marriage. And a lot of women, our wives are struggling. What I mean struggling? For those of us who's had babies or you've heard stories or you've seen on TV, when a woman has been in labor for 24 hours and, and she's so tired and worn out. And finally, it's time for the baby to come. What the Bible says, it's a, there's an appointed time. But she's been struggling. And she's been laboring for 24 hours. And finally, the doctor said, baby, I need you to push. And she said, I can't. I can't. I can't push no more. I'm, I'm tired. I am exhausted. I don't have any strength. And, and the, the freaking ice chips they give you. What, 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 what the ice chips? Alyssa, what's with the ice chips? Huh? How come we can't get no food in the hospital when we're trying to push these babies out? Granted, mine wasn't put for us, thank God. The Lord's been good to me. Okay. The Lord's been good to me. I went to the hospital at 8. Little Michael was here at 12, 18. My water broke 11, 30 that night. Doctor says stay home until contractions are between this, this, then you come to the hospital. But anyway, Lexi, my water broke. I went to the hospital 7 something. She was here at 1, 52. So the Lord's blessed me. And the doctor said, Miss, 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 Miss Smith, I need you to push. Miss, I can't push, doc. I ain't got nothing.
nothing left. I can't push. And the doctor say, Miss Smith, I need you to push, ma'am. Because if you don't push, we going to have to do an emergency C-section to get this baby out. Because one thing about them doctors, they're going to save that baby. I told my husband, let me, take, let me explain something to you. I got Lexi to take care of. If there's a choice come down between me and the baby, let the baby go home to sweet Jesus and let me stay here so I can take care of you and Lexi. And so the only time you're supposed to override a woman's right to struggle is when she needs to push that baby out for her to baby to come in this world or the bed, the doctor said that my girl come across doctor said, miss, she was in labor forever, child. It was time she could put the doctor said, miss so-and-so, I will have to do a, a, an emergency sister said, she was like, no, no. And she pushed it. That little baby boy came right out. But y'all want women to stay in this struggle marriage and push and struggle as if she's having a birth. And the Bible says that God has redeemed us from the curse of the law of sin and death. God has delivered us from the e-curse of Eve. And so when I was having little Michael, I had me a black doctor. Hello, black woman, get you a black, the woman doctor. She said, Miss Sam says, my 25 wedding anniversary. I'm going to Jamaica, okay? Your um your due date is Wednesday. I'm coming back Thursday. And she tell little Michael, little Michael, I need you to stay in there until I come back. Well, on Sunday, the baby decides to come. <clears throat> and she said, Miss Thompson, but if if you, if the baby comes, this is the doctor. It's all women's uh in the in the maternity ward, all women, no men. And she said, if the baby come, this is the doctor you call. Da, da, da. And, and she said, Miss Thompson, take the epidural. I say, oh, no, man, the Lord has delivered me from the curse of the law of sin and death. And I, I, I'm going to believe in God that I will not be having any, any contractions. It's the baby's just going to pop out. And she said, yes, the Lord you for the curse of the law. It's called the epidural. Take the epidural. I was like, I ain't taking the epidural. And I got there, was already four centimeters. They said, Miss Thompson, go take the epidural. I was like, no, honey, I'm believing God. And honey, this the contractions start coming in, and it's seven centimeters. Miss Thompson, you need to take the epidural. No. And I look over there in the corner, like Lexi, and Lexi, no. <laughs> she cries. I, I take the epidural. I take the epidural. I said, she'll take the epidural. Because you know they're all lighting up, child, because that's all money. And you know I good in short. I have that good presidential in short. I took the epidural. I was fine. Until there was, like, okay, Miss Thompson, it's time for you to push. I was like, okay. And about two pushes and little Michael popped right out. If a woman is not struggling to give birth, to birth life, to save her life and the baby, please do not tell us that we need to struggle with an un- accomplished, unestablished man that's trying to figure out his life. This is why, ladies, the husband profile is so important and we need to choose carefully. This is why it took me forever to get married because I was not about to struggle with no man. So I'm going to play these videos of Dominique saying, I'm tired. Nobody is listening. Okay? And even with her saying, I'm tired, you know what y'all still want her to do? struggle with them this is youtube so you know i'm gonna have to talk about talk through it y'all youtube i don't know they just be hurting my feelings i feel like i've been you're a great person i feel like i've been spiraling since honeymoon so he's saying he's been spiraling since his honeymoon and the reason he's been spiraling since his honeymoon is because he's an introvert and he don't want to do anything on his honeymoon i'm trying to translate for you and I feel like every day there's something else about me that you don't like. And I've made compromises. So every day there's something you don't like about me. This is for the people who want to say, accept me for who I am. So accept him for being an introvert who don't want to do anything, who don't want to enjoy the honeymoon. You, you just want to stay in the house and I'm supposed to be okay with it. And you see going out on, on, on a couple's activity is you compromising. Why the hell did you get married? Why did you get married? Because I want to enjoy my honeymoon. So you going out with me, enjoying our honeymoon that we paid for, is you compromising. 
<sighs> over and over, whether it's horseback riding, the sailboat, the dogs. But I, I, you see there? Him compromising is them actually enjoying their honeymoon. So you go on a honeymoon, you don't want to do anything. You just want to stay in the hotel room and she's supposed to go and do everything with you because she's supposed to accept you as who you are. I just feel like there's no compromise on your end and it's just been- No okay. compromise as in, leave me alone, let me be this introvert. Come on. number of things I'm doing wrong. And what we do you mean? Because you're making it seem like I just like- Expect everything to be perfect. Like I honestly felt like that's what you expected on the honeymoon. Okay, so her wanting him to do activities with her is her expecting him to be perfect. Come on, somebody. Translate, Sister Janice. I expected... Okay, this is what she's talking about. You're getting married a stranger and she's telling you what I expected. I expected you to want to do more. You to want to do more. Uh -huh. I expected like not to have to like push you to do things. I expect you, I expected to not to have to push you to do things. And this is what a lot of women are doing in their marriage. They are pushing their husbands uphill to do things, huh? She's struggling to push him. How many of you know that struggling is under the curse? If you are struggling in any area of your life, I'm just letting you know you're under curse. You better get some oil get you some communion, plead the blood and rebuke the devil. Because if you're struggling, you're under curse, boo-boo. Uh-huh. I expect to not to have to push you to do things. But what are the, the women, people who don't listen to women saying? Go ahead and push him. Go ahead and struggle with him. Because that is their definition of marriage. They don't know enjoying marriage. Marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured. And a lot of people are enduring their marriages because you're pushing him. That is not your job. You are not his mother. It's like, it is mentally exhausting for me to always have to be the smiling face, the, the supporter, the one to pull things out of you that you might not want to do. Like it is mentally exhausting to me. Huh? Let's play it again. Like it is mentally exhausting to me. I did like not to have to like push you to do things. Like it is mentally It is mentally exhausting to me. <clears throat> I might have to come back and do a part 2 of this. Dominique is saying, I am mentally exhausting for me to always, come on. Exhausting for me to always have to be the smiling face. Right? Always have to be the smiling face, the supporter. I do, you, you, we are supposed to be supporter, but he ain't doing nothing for us to support. The supporter, the one to pull things out of you. The there. one to pull things out out of you that you might not want to do beloved that is not god's will for your marriage it is not your job ladies to try to pull things out of a grown man if he's not a child the only people you're supposed to be pushing is your kids like i'm pushing little michael with the tutor he don't want to go back. We gave him a week break. I don't want to go back. No, you're going to go. You're going. You're going. <laughs> it is not your job to push him. That is struggling. And you're not enjoying your marriage. You're enduring your marriage. This is why the, the, the Dustys and the Pink Mishes and the Mommies, they hate on me.
they come over here, they're angry because I'm not enduring my marriage. I'm enjoying my marriage. I waited and I made sure I chose right. But because y'all are pushing and struggling in your marriage, that's your norm. That's why you're mad at Dominique because she said, uh-uh, I ain't going to struggle with you. Mm -hmm. You might not want to do like... It is exhausting to me. It is exhausting to me. Huh? Those of you ladies who've had babies and you're exhausted. You're, you saw, uh, when the baby come out, the baby, you push the baby, you're like, oh, 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 oh. Cause it's labor. It is labor. The bar, somebody said that the closest a woman comes to dying is when she's giving birth. And a lot of y'all, that's your marriage. That's why you're mad at her for saying, I don't want that. <laughs> That's why you're mad at me. Because I, I say, I love my husband. I love my marriage. I love being married. I'm enjoying my marriage because you don't know what that's like. You are, you are, this is you. <laughs> this is you. Your, lit, your marriage is exhausted and that's how you live. It's exhausted. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know I what to say. I feel like complete <laughs> since the honeymoon. That I ruined your time, that I'm a- You did ruin her time. You did. I'm some super negative. You are super negative. You are extremely negative. I mean, you don't think bad that jokes. I feel bad? Like, I felt quite <laughs> too, so. I don't, I'm not sure why. Like, I, I didn't make a single complaint about you the entire trip. Lies. <laughs> and, and see, the thing is, she comes off as looking bad and being the bad person because she's pushing him to do stuff that he don't want to do. We, I have to pick this up. It's, it's, I have to get ready to go. I have to get, we're going to pick this up later. <clears throat> That's why y'all are mad at her because you don't know what it's like to not push and struggle with a man. So you think it's a norm and you want him to push, let's see, to push and struggle with a man too. Okay. She's saying, I don't want to do that. I love her ladies. I'm going to have, we're going to have to put her in the Merla hall of fame. Cause she said, I don't want to do that. I do not. I don't. All right, I have. I love you. I have to go. Let me hear what you say in the comment. The husband profile course is going to be starting again in in the summer. A lot of you are emailing me about it, but we're going to start it again in the summer. Okay, I absolutely love you. I adore you. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.